Well, hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and my husband Jack and I are hanging out with our cups of coffee and we are sitting and chatting about this. I'm giddy. <laughs> Can you tell? She I'm looks like, forward oh to this. Oh my gosh, I love this video. You look forward to this video every single year. I really love this video. I really love talking about color. I love what's coming out and what's going away and oh my gosh talking about the color of the year has to be one of the most exciting things that happens the whole year it's such a big deal when the color of the year comes out and not only are we going to share with you the color of the year in the u.s but we're going to talk about the color of the year for some of the paint companies in europe as well and as a bonus i'm so excited about this you're actually going to release oh, the yes. house of valentina color palette of the year yes and I'm going to share with you the colors that you can expect to see at the House of Valentina in the coming year so that if you're thinking about making a change and you want to know what we're going to be doing in our own house, you'll be able to follow right along. If you love these types of videos and you want to see more, make sure you hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment down below which one of these colors you are most excited about. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. I can't stand it. I know. Well, let's dive I'm in. I'm using the high-pitched voice. <laughs> We better start. <laughs> we better start. She's going to take off. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which one should we start with? Should we start with the American ones? Let's start with the American ones. Okay. So what does Sherwin-Williams, what are they predicting? Is okay. Gonna you guys are going to laugh. I did not plan this. I promise you I did not plan this. I'm going to show you what the color of the year for Sherwin-Williams is. Sherwin-Williams has come out with evergreen fro frog. Frog. <laughs> Wow, I should present for a living. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Evergreen fog. I did not plan this, but Sherwin Williams Color of the Year is this gorgeous, like muted, mossy, foggy, grayish green color that clearly. I, I ordered this before the color of the year came out. Yeah, you did. This is from Massimo Duty, in case you're wondering. We always put that down in the show notes. If you ever want to shop, whatever we're wearing, we, we don't always talk about it, but we usually have it down in the show notes. Yeah, definitely. Um, and we will also put the links for these colors for you as well if you want to go shop them because we're going to talk about European colors in a minute and you may not know those companies. So we're going to put all that down in the description box. But back to this color. I am so excited about this color. I love green now i know that we have a very monochromatic house everybody kind of knows us that yeah. we're the black and white people <laughs> but i always always have green in my rooms i i mean this entire room if you just look at it all around us is green it's green yeah everywhere. that's part of that's part of how i design a space i believe that every single home needs to have some green in it what i think is interesting about this color too though is that it really does feel like the return of the 90s because we were mighty close to this color in our, oh, our very first, first house. house. We were very close to this. And I think your sister had like a bathroom painted this color. Like this, this was really the 90s. Oh, you're right. Oh yeah. my gosh. So I, I love, I was a little bit hesitant about the 90s coming back. To be totally honest, <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know. I've already worn that once. And now I'm like, sweater vest. <laughs> oh my gosh, sweater vest. <laughs> Bring them on and bring on the colors because I love it. So we know that color in general is just making a huge comeback. You're going to be seeing more color everywhere. For people like us that like to live in neutrals, it's a little bit nerve wracking. Right. But the fact that the first one they come out with is a green color like this, it's so soft and muted. It's just effortless to bring this into even a neutral home. Yeah. And I think you could also use this like in artwork, you can use it. I mean, how great would this have pillows just leaning on the, yeah, wouldn't that be good? It's gorgeous. <laughs> well, the nice thing about it is it's not a primary color yes. or really like yeah. saturated. It's, yeah. it's a little more muted. It's definitely, a, I think a, a little more, more of an elegant, sexy type of color. Well, thank you. No, but this color works really well, regardless of what your palette is. Even for us with yeah. a more monochromatic palette, it works really well because it's just, it's more muted. It's not so yeah. like, ah. It's, it's nice. very, it's, I don't know if that's an official, ah. But. No, I mean, you can quote me on that. <laughs> we'll put it on all the t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> No, but it is a great color and I think it's really fun because if you are thinking about wanting to put some color in, this is an easy way to do it that it won't feel forced. It is a very natural color. I do think that that is a reaction for sure to 
all that we have been through yeah. in these last few months. Let's just call it that. So yeah. I think this is definitely nature coming in and Green not very, only, It's very peaceful. It is. It's so peaceful. Yeah. And what I also thought was really fun, and I talked about this in our last one, our last video, is that they, Sherwin Williams also breaks down their most popular colors. And I think that that is really, when you start seeing alabaster, pure white, agreeable gray, repose gray, snowbound, sea salt. Like you're seeing all these like really warm neutrals. Oh, is it gorgeous? It, the whole palette is just calm. It's very calming. <laughs> I think that, that we just all, even I would say that I am generally not a person that craves a lot of calm in my house. I actually like a lot of energy and obviously I painted my fireplace black. Like I like <laughs> high contrast. Even for me, I've noticed since this stuff has been happening, I just needed more calm than ever before. And I think that the paint companies have picked up on that. I think they nailed this. Uh, I, I think too. they 100% nailed this. I am I will probably go buy some and try to figure out what I can do with it because I really love this color. I really hope that this color catches on because I'll buy it up. I think it's great. Yeah. Benjamin Moore, guys, they haven't come out with their color yet. So we debated, should we wait until the color comes out to talk to do this video? But I'm impatient. <laughs> I yeah. want to talk about it now. So if you go to um, Benjamin Moore's, you can actually sign up. They're giving you the option. Can you see that? They're giving you the option of being able to, to guess. Will it be purple, yellow, green, blue, or red? Which one will be the next big hue? I would be really interested to hear your guesses, which is why I wanted to do this now, because I I would love to hear from you guys what you think will be the color mm -hmm. and which one maybe you hope it will be, because I think that would be such an in, so interesting to hear what you guys think. Oh, that's really and good. And then we'll chat about it maybe like on a Friday with V when they actually release it, but oh, that's really they'll let you guess. I'm on their email subscription list, so it, you fill out um, which one you think it is, they're gonna send you an email and you'll get to know what the color is before everybody else. So I was like, that's kind of fun. Oh, that's cool. I personally think they should have already released it, but they didn't ask me, so. <laughs> yeah, so make sure down in the comments you leave us which one of those it is, because we want to compare your thoughts to what they come up with. Yes. All right, so next up is Bear. What are they saying? Well, they're also going green as well. Wow. So they went with a very sea glass green. And ooh, yeah, they did. I see, and you're like, ooh, I love that. I, I don't feel this color. Like, I feel I like, like the one, I like the first one better still. I just like a, well, I like grays. I like muted colors. Yeah. I feel like this is just, we've literally had rooms painted this color. We have. This is the 90s. This is what we painted our dining room in our first house. It was this color. You're right. So we, we've had this color in our house. We've, we really enjoy this color. In fact, I think our master bathroom was that color as well. And our bedding. I think so, yeah. I still have the bedding. I, I could show it to you. This is what we were using in the late 90s and early 2000s. So I can tell you this color has been in. Has this color really ever gone out? I don't really think so. If you've ever stayed at a, if you've ever rented somewhere near the beach, you've probably stayed in somewhere with this color. It <laughs> is a so. standard coastal color. It's classic. It's called Breezeway. I don't think we actually said that, but yeah, okay. I mean, it's, it's literally like a coastal color. Yeah. Yeah. But what I find most interesting is it's the second, it's two out of two are now in this green family. Yeah, which is so really interesting. What's really gonna be interesting is what does Benjamin Moore come out with? Is it green? I was thinking, should I tell people what I think it will be? No, let him vote first. Okay, okay, I won't tell you. I have a guess. I'll tell him and then he can tell you later if I was right. Okay? Yeah, and we'll do it. Well, again, we'll, <laughs> as soon as it comes out, we'll do a Friday with V and we'll talk about this. Yeah. Next up, we are going all the way to Europe. We're heading to Scandinavia. We're gonna go to Norway to look at what they are predicting. Jotun, I don't even know if that's how they say it in Norway, but this was one of our favorite paint companies. So I thought it'd be really fun to introduce you guys, not only to this brand, but they didn't come out with the color of the year, they came out with a palette of the year. And the color that they're leading with, let, let's see, what do you guys think? What do you think the color is that they're leading with for 2022? Ooh, I know, so evil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the color that they are leading with is green. They're leading with green. It's three out of three so far. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't yeah. it? 
And I would say that this color is actually, it actually feels like this is right down the middle. Like if you put the other two together, you would have this color. Yes, I agree. The 2022 color card is called Together. It contains three unique palettes designed for rooms with an atmosphere where people like to spend time together. Oh. Yeah, it's really nice actually. And their color chart has 26 colors and 12 of them are new. They have colors like Palmetto, Wish, Slate Lavender. They've really created a really fun palette and they've really mixed things up. And oh, I think that really it's really fun, fun oh how gosh. they're showing all the different personalities of all the different people and how you could use those colors with each other. They could play off of each other. They are all based in that natural feel. They're don't you all think? very soothing and very across the, I mean, you've got a little bit of red, a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow, but they're all muted and yeah. a little more soft, cozy, and uh, yeah. It's really nice, I isn't it? I love that. Yeah, it's really, really nice. I feel like you could take any of these colors and you could just take one of them and use it, incorporate it into your house, but you could also mix a couple of them. Well, it was really fun taking a visit to Norway, so why don't we next go to England and look at what Pharaoh and Ball is up to this year. And when I popped over, it's <laughs> gonna be no surprise. Guess what? It's uh, Breakfast Room Green is their main color of the year. And I think that I, we're, you know what it is? It doesn't surprise me, and this is why. Because we all went through these last few months true. all together, and we've all gone through it, and I think we're all united in this thing that we've all gone through, and we all want something that, we want something that feels fresh, which I think green always feels always, fresh. Yeah. It reads healthy. It's We know that if we eat our greens, we're gonna be healthy. And I think that it's calming, and I think that's why we're seeing so much green. I. This is another one that's very 90s though. It's not as muted as the other ones. I think that it's actually gorgeous. That color is so refreshing. It's like a gorgeous drink and the way they've like paired it with that blue. Oh my gosh, I love that. They also have Babouche, which is a yellow color. And I think that that just brings in sunshine and yes. warmth and happiness. They do have Schoolhouse White, which they're saying is one of their colors of the year. We actually used that white, it's very, very similar to Muskoka Trail by Benjamin Moore, and that's the color we used in your mom's room. Oh, because yeah. we wanted to create calm for her, and that was the color that was color match for it. They also have the stone blue, which is what you were saying. That one is, Love that. again, just very soothing, feels like like a robin's egg almost. Like oh, that's yeah. that kind of like earthy blue. Yes, and then they have this really interesting incarnadine, which is their red color. Yeah, it's like a spicy. It's like, yeah. For those of us that need a little spice put back in their lives, it's like, yes. It's like all these soothing <laughs> colors and then incarnadine burst in the room. Yes, it's like, let's have some calm and a little bit of like punch <laughs> to the, our days. Yeah. I want to hear from you, what are the House of Valentina colors of the year? What's your palette? Yes, so we've been working on quite a few of our rooms over the last few months, and we've been in a pretty big transitional period where we've, we've sold a lot of the stuff that we had, and then we had empty spaces in a lot of the house, um, kind of a hodgepodge of things that were left, and <laughs> we're in the process of changing everything up, and hopefully in the next few weeks you'll get to see everything delivered, everything put in the rooms. I've been holding out even showing you the kids' rooms. It's been like two months since we had the floors done. Yeah. We've just been waiting for everything to arrive. So we've been in a pretty big transitional time for our own house and really thinking about the future of what we wanted. And this is the color palette that we've chosen for our own home and what you'll be seeing on our website. You'll be seeing it on our social media with our Instagram and everything else. So of course it's gonna be neutrals because <laughs> that's what we really That's just we love. Um, this is not like the only colors you'll be seeing, but we did come up with a palette that we think is just, it's soothing. Yeah, it definitely is. But it's also warm and cozy. And that's kind of, we, we, that's what we like. We like a juxtaposition. We like something that's powerful and yet calm. We like something that's spicy and yet soothing. So we, we like the juxtaposition. Yeah. We like that, yeah, that tension a little bit of the two opposing forces coming in. And just a little bit like even Pharaoh and Ball where they brought in that red that was so crazy, you still kept a few darker tones, which I think is really interesting because we've definitely yes. moved towards soothing and peaceful, but you've still got that punch of like 
fierce and passionate and I yes. love that. And for me, I go a little bit further than just the colors. I want to think about a little bit more than that when I'm thinking about my own home and I was hoping maybe this would be useful for you guys as well as you think about doing your own home. I've come up with my colors, so let me share those with you first. So I've got black, which you guys know, of course, that's just an obvious. I really do love black. I love midnight oil as well. I think that's an off black. Those two colors just kind of like always with me. I just love them. Yeah. I find them energizing and I think that they're a little bit sexy, to be honest. They're sensual. I, I think that that's yeah. just gorgeous. And when you pair that with a color like cloud cover, that's a white that we've used a lot. And we just really like that it really is like a diffused white. It's exactly what they say that it is. Yes, cloud cover. It's a, it <laughs> is like a, literally the color of the sky when it's cloudy and gray. I've also been starting to include a ton more of a linen shade. So of course I love, these are all for mine, I've chose from Benjamin Moore. Um, I love natural linen. I think that that mm. color is so soothing. We've even got it behind us here on the sofa. You can see, I love to bring in that sort of creaminess, that sort of a little bit of a beige tone. It's got a brown still undertone to it. It's not too yellow. I just think that that's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. Then I also added a little bit of a classic caramel. I think that it can be brought in through leathers. It can be brought in through accessories. This color on the wall would be amazing. Oh yeah. It's great inspiration if you think about brass, kind of has this sort of undertone to it. There's a lot of fun ways to bring this into your home. Um, the other one is Northern Cliffs, which is like a, it's more of like a taupe hmm. brown. It's like a brownish gray kind of color. It's almost like like a mouse brown. Oh, that's pretty. It's just really soft. It's really soothing. I find myself really drawn to that color. I have been buying bags and shirts and <laughs> shoes and and then it, then it's like okay, well once I've brought it in my fashion, then I know it's going to translate immediately into my into my house. I'll start bringing it in through accessories, through paintings. That's what's so fun about these colors. And then finally and. Interestingly enough, I put mountain moss as my green color, which really is right in line with the greens of the year. That was yeah, like really my is. main color that I wanted to really accent with. I just know that I, it's funny. I was sitting at my desk and I was looking around the house and I'm like, which green really sums up our, our palette? And I was like, this is it. It's this sort of mossy, muted. Yeah, it's gorgeous. This palette is so, what I love about it is it's still House of Valentina. It still has the dark, sexy undertones to it, but then it's got this comforting, warm, but rich. Like the that classic caramel is just gorgeous and rich. And it, it reminds me of the bag that you bought me years ago, that leather bag that I have. And yes. It's just that rich leather. So I love this palette. Yeah. What else do you have that goes with this? Yeah, so of course, I don't always think, I think also in pattern, I think of texture. It's For me, it's really hard for me to only think of a color palette. So I also included in this, which you guys will get to see, I'll put it up on the screen. You'll see that I've got things like a, a light wood tone in here. I've got a lot of texture brought in through the paintings. We've got black leather, we've got burnished brass. There's some velvet. I put the white croc, it's like a creamy croc. Oh, that's cool. Uh, a couple marbles are in there, zebra, fur, I've got the tumbled marble in there and like a black wood. Like that's what's so fun about a palette is that it doesn't mean that you have to paint your, your walls that color. It's also the elements that you bring in and it's an overall aesthetic that you're pulling together. And I just, I'm afraid that the video is gonna be nine years long because I geek out over this so <laughs> bad. I'm like, I could talk about this all day long. I love it so much and it's so much fun. And I, I think that's what's so amazing. It's literally like going to a candy shop and just you know, it's, but it's not bad for your teeth at least. <laughs> no. So it's really a lot of fun to be able to choose these. I suggest if you're thinking about this, this is what I do for my clients is that I come up with a palette for the entire house and I work from that palette for each of the rooms so that the whole house feels like it's all just tied together and you can just sense that it was all really thought out. I'm excited to see what you do with these colors in our house and how they flow out across all the stuff that we do and how even how we export them into, into you know, you have like so many projects going on right now with clients. Yeah. Can't wait to see how these things are activated in people's homes. Yeah, so. you've been helping me even redo the website and stuff and this is literally the palette for the website. Yes, so it really is. <laughs> it's just so. really funny. I'm like, well, at least I like the same thing. <laughs> I know, I can't wait to see it all come alive. And if you want to see this, look down below in the show notes. There's a link where you can actually go and download 
download this color palette from the House of Valentina. I hope that you had even half as much fun as we did <laughs> talking about the colors of the year. I am in such a blissed out state getting to talk about this. It's so much fun. I, I hope that you enjoy it too and that you've gotten some inspiration out of it. I think that's what's so fun about it. All right, so we have a few things for you to do here as we wrap up. First of all, guess on the color of the year you think Benjamin Moore is gonna throw out. Are they gonna go with green like the others or are they gonna throw us a curveball? We're gonna follow up with that in a Fridays with V and then download the color palette from here. And then if you haven't hit subscribe yet, if you're like, hey, this is my first time, but I love these colors, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And again, leave us a comment on which one you absolutely love. Yes, and we just created a trends playlist. So if you love trends and you're interested in seeing what in, if, if we predicted things in the past and they've come to be true and things that we, it's just, you can go check it out and see if we were right or wrong. <laughs> but um, yeah, go check out that playlist too because it does have a ton of information about what's coming in and out and I think it's just a lot of fun. We, we have too much fun. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, so we hope you have too and um, we will see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye. Let's do it again. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, I failed. One more time. No, you're gonna spill coffee Ready? on me. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, your finger's in the way. Cheers. Oh, wait. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>